Hi guys, uh, this video is about how to save and load image into an SQL Server database. Okay, so first of all, what we need is a table in the database. Okay, so what we've done is uh, I've used the Server Explorer to create a new table, okay, which is images. Now, what I've done in the images table is that I've added three columns. Okay, now this table is into which we are going to store the image and from which we are going to retrieve the image from, right. So the columns used are image ID column. This is an integer data type column. Okay. And uh, what we've done is the table for the table, we have used the identity column as this same image ID column, right? Then next we come on to the image name, simply a uh, name to identify the image with, with the data type of IRCAR 50. Then we have the image column. This is the column that actually stores the image with the data type of image. Okay. So this is the table and it's like located in the uh, server name SQL Express and uh, in the test database, test database, in test database, okay. So what we've done in the uh, website is that we've taken two panels, right. In one panel it's about image upload, it's like uh, it's for uploading the image and next panel we have image retrieval panel, okay. So there are two sections. So when we talk about the image upload panel, in this we have taken an image name text box from which we can set the name the name of the name of the column, okay? And we have used a file upload control. A file upload control is used. We've used a button on whose click we will insert and we've used an SQL data source control. So first of all, we need to configure the SQL data source control. We go to the SQL data source control. We set the connection string. Connection string to the exact data database we are connecting to. Okay. And we need to insert, right? So we are going to tweak the insert query. First of all, we go to insert. And this is the query that we used. First of all, you need, what you will do, I, al I already have this made. What you will do is you will go to the query builder. Okay and select the requ uh, request to table etc. Uh, select all columns or uh, you need not select the image ID column because you know uh, it's an auto increment so it increments automatically so you don't need to increment it. Select the other two okay and you will have this. Now you won't have this. I, in I in include this. So in order to include this we will add two parameters I1 and I2. I1 is bound to the text box one, text box one control and I2 is bound to file upload control. Parameter source is control and I've for this is important for I2 for I2 you need to use the property name as file bytes. Okay. This is what you need to use. This is the query you need to use. Okay. Uh, I've not set all the three columns. I've only set two columns. The first column is I've uh, not included because it's an auto increment identity column. Okay. So this is what we did in the insert query. Now, what you need to do is on the click of insert button, this method will be performed. SQL data source one dot insert method. So that insert query will be performed on the click of that button. Okay. So that's what has been done in the, in the image upload panel. This is very simple. Now, the difficult part comes in the image retrieval panel for retrieving the image. In order to retrieve the image, what I've used is a handler class, a generic handler class. We've used a handler file. Okay. Now, inside the handler file, we have a process event request. If you can see clearly, we have a process ev request event. We have a process request event. Okay. Now, what does this process request event do? A process request event takes an HTTP context type. Okay, it takes a HTTP context type. What it does, it this event opens the database and loads the image with the image ID matching the image ID sent from the query string. This is what this does. Okay, so we've used all the namespaces and all the, the all the objects. We've used a data reader. We've used an SQL connection. We've used an select command, an SQL command. Okay. And we have set it to null. Now inside the try, inside the try, we have set a connection object. 
now what is this connection object inside this connection object we have passed the connection string okay straight if I pass this okay and uh, this SQL command for SQL command I have passed the SQL query okay now what will this query return this query will return select image from images images is the table name select the image column from the images table where image ID equal to the connection string uh, variable I will explain that later you open the connection then you execute the data reader and while data reader is being read this is being performed Con context or response dot content type is set to image slash jpg even though other formats like gif png bmp etc will work with the same code the image qual quality will not be maintained if all other image or formats are read as jpg formats this code must be updated to handle different image formats while writing to database and setting the content type in the response and we use binary write so what this does is in the data reader the image column okay it writes it into byte stream it loads it into the image image control so this is what it does if it is null it will close it finally it will close and that's it okay this is what is being done in the image handler event handler class how to add this class go to section solution explorer right click add new item and here is a generic handler okay this is how I added this now how to use this how to use this to retrieve it okay if we go back to the page we use a text box and we use a button okay now the action is to be performed on the click of the button so when we double click this thing opens now what happens here is inside this page we've used an image control right we've used an image control now in the coding we have set the image URL of this image control to this thing that is handler.ashx that is this thing handler.ashx image ID the, this is the query string we've used image ID is the query string that we used over here over here this thing this thing we have set over here so on the click of the button the query string is being set and that is being attached to the image URL property of the image control okay and so this is set as soon as this is set the uh, there's a post pack done automatically because it's a button control right and this image query string variable is a collection right it's being set to the uh, data that is being shown in the text box 2 dot that has been set in the text box to control right so this is how we retrieve it retrieve it okay once again I'll show what all the controls are there a panel a pa inside the panel a text box a file upload control insert this is for the loading for the uploading for retrieval it's simple a text box 2 this is the display image and there's an image control now we'll go and go ahead and execute this okay see this is the panel now I'm going to upload an image first uh, for example let's use let's say screenshot okay I go to screenshot I use the file upload browse control now where is my screenshot on my desktop on my desktop this is a file okay is a GIF file open okay and insert when I say insert I go to the table if I want to check if you see right now there's an extra column being added with the name screenshot right there okay now so that data has been inserted right now now when I have to retrieve I have to retrieve on the basis of the image ID which image ID this one so I will write 3 here I will display an image see this is an image file that has been loaded right now if I use 2 it will again display an image the, this was the same image that was uploaded earlier if I use 1 it will display another image so based on the image ID it is retrieving it is using that handler class okay which I which I used before okay thank you for watching the video